Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. U7 Buy also sells other things, not just coins, but gift cards and games at fantastic prices. What are you guys waiting for? This website is your one-stop shop. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today, we carry on with the series where we go back at them very meta icons in the start of the game and see how good they are now. You know, in the current game right now, we're in April at the moment, so the game's moved on quite a bit. We just passed half the life of the game. In my opinion, a lot of people come back now to play, uh, to play for Team of the Season cards, but we're looking at Vieira today. Right-footed, three-star, three-star, medium-high work rate's fantastic for a CDM. I think a lot of people use this card as a CDM maximum center mid. 6-4, he's got the block plus and he's got other really nice traits. Can I just say this card is super usable even still. Now, granted, in the start of the game, this guy was unbelievable. And the reason why he, uh, he was like 3 million coins or something like that, you were coming up against gold players and he was completely dominating. Like, there's no gold card in the game that can compare with Patrick Vieira. It's just not... It's not it, you know, it's not going to happen. But obviously, we come in towards the cycle part where in the game where there's a lot of good cards in the game, you know, and there are alternatives to this card, you know, that true many card, that very special for birthday version. That's an unbelievable card. And we know that Vieira's got a better version than this Vieira, the Totti Icon one. Now, I tell you guys something, I used him and I'm still in awe of this card the thing is you know what these meta players they're meta throughout the whole game trust me and let me explain why when you look at Vieira's build when you look at his pace when you look at how long his feet are the guy's gonna be unbelievable in defending whether it's September October or it's you know July it just doesn't matter look at it breaking up play he's unbelievable I think shadow chemistry style is the one to go for now, I didn't ever drive him up forward, but the most I asked was his passing. And he's got great passing. I, I genuinely think when it comes to defending, this guy's levels above any Hullet card. Uh, and I don't mean that in a rude way, but when it when it comes to, like, I've always said this, when it comes to defending, no one can top Vieira. You know, and I still think that. I know that true many cards are unbelievable, but I'm talking icons only. Now, when it comes to icons, when it comes to CDM, icons that have just blown me away are people like Essien, People like Lam, people like Lothar Mateus. Vieira, why I hold him so high is because of his height. The guy gets his foot or toe onto everything. And I think that's the real niche about this card, about how big he is. And, you know, I don't want to get into all these, you know, nuances about certain cards are better at this or that. But trust me, let me tell you guys something. I love Vieira for what he does, what he brings to the table. I still think this... This guy is S tier when it comes to CDM. Honestly, he's just the blueprint for a great CDM. I hope everyone can pick him up.